Good morning. I am Shaji Vishnathan from Kerala state and this is a Indian Express with me today. There is an interest in article that is regarding the work life balance. This is useful for the MBA students or somebody is making a research or something writing assignments or etc. It will be useful. So I will say one thing in the reference. Indian Express, their uh, Sunday supplement magazine here, that's uh, dated today, 5th September 2021, Sunday. So we can go to the article. So this is a work life, work life balance, a situation in which one a device or balances on time between work and activities outside of, outside of work. Bosware. Bosware is a software for tracking workers on their productivity as well as to deal with concerns about data breaches or intellectual property theft. This uh, article is written by Noor Anand Chawla. There is some highlights there. That is uh, some uh, survey report or something. I will uh, uh, read the highlights. Microsoft's work trend index report 2020 shows that India has the longest work day span of the surveyed markets. It also states that close to one-third of workers in the country cited an increased rate of burnout in the past six months. According to the state of work report done by Workfront in 2020, employees spend only 43% of their day on their primary job duties due to wasteful meetings. A rescue time survey reveals that while 62 percent of people work more than eight hours a day, only five percent finish their daily tasks every day in the study. 25 percent of the employees say it is because of too much work, but more people place the blame on lack of clear priorities. Another two more highlights here. The State of Remote Work 2020 by Angelis and Buffer interviewed 3,521 remote workers worldwide and found that 98% of the people would like to work at least some of the time remotely for the rest of their careers. So, the last highlight is the new sense of place report by script highlights that 67% of Indians respond to work messages while at home under normal circumstances. On a daily basis, Mumbai tops the list with 85% respondents admitting this, followed by Calcutta 65%. Delhi 60% and Bangalore 59%. It states that when working from home, personal and professional activities are often undertaken simultaneously. The another beginning part of the article is we can go there. The article head is an exclusive balance. So, whether people work in the office or from home, the pandemic has upended the harmony between their personal and professional life, giving rise to a public health issue that cannot be ignored. In early March of last year, when COVID-19 was a new word in our collective dictionary and the pandemic was set to look as indoors, Param Singh was five months into his sangi job in a fame in Hong Kong 
riding high on the successful completion of his foreign MBA degree and the resultant rise in pay scale. This unattached 28 year old had everything going for him. However, as things continually worsened in China and then Italy, international borders began closing up since family coerced him to return home to Delhi, afraid of him being alone on foreign shores if something were, be, were to happen. After much resistance, he caved into family pressure, uh, quit his job, no work from home option had it been offered, and moved back to India. So we can go uh, next uh, two more part of the article. For the next eight months, he sat at home battling feelings of anxiety while searching for a job worthy of his qualification. In late 2020, he found one in a multinational corporation based in Gurgaon, Gurgaon and happily reported to office on the first day despite the two-hour commu uh, commute from his residence and the flexible work-from-home option given to employees. Foreseeing a millennial who had witnessed both demanding work hours and the malaise of sitting uh, at home. This LUC work-life balance could only be achieved through critically demarcated office timings. Okay, this is the summary of this article. Thank you. Thank you for watching.